Yo, what's up guys? Got Pokey in here. Today we're going to be using Magic Room in OU and I'm pretty excited because it's been... I've actually have used Magic Room. Uh, Ace Henry passed me this team. Check out my website, Pokemon.com if you want to get it. Um, and I have used um, Magic Room before. They said they haven't seen me use Magic Room, but I'm pretty sure I did it with Chimpact or Envy. But basically the idea is you lead Mew, you get up Hazards, you Magic Room, then you set up one of your Choice Lock Mons, and then you try and sweep with that. So... We'll see how that ends up going. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. It uh, should be either quick losses or quick wins. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. So if you guys do enjoy this, feel free to leave a like. And of course, subscribe. And I do have a, a question. And these are for people that actually sub to my channel. Uh, but Envy and I are doing this series called Kanto to the Top. Where basically we're taking theme teams uh, based on the gym leaders of Kanto and laddering on the ladder. We have two videos left, Blaine and Giovanni. Now, Envy was asking me, should we do the Elite Four? Because a lot of people on his channel were saying we should. So I'm asking you now, do you think Envy and I should continue uh, Kanto to the top and go through the Elite Four? Obviously, after Kanto, we were going to do Johto um, after. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts. I don't have knockoff, but uh, oh, this is going to be tough because they have a Blissey. Oh, thank you. Have fun. Um, this is going to be tough because they have Blissey plus Corviknight. I don't have knockoff on Kartana. Which I think would be stronger in this game, obviously. But we'll see. Luckily, my talk specs can stall these guys out. But yeah, I like I like me from the get. I like getting up hazards and the magic rooming, of course. Um, and then Misty exploding from there, I guess, right? Like, what else am I supposed to be doing? Spikes hits their team harder. Well, not really. They're probably all boots. But I'll get a Brox first, and then get up Spikes in this thing's face. I'm assuming they scouted for the Willowist there. Uh, also, guys, I just want to note. I just want to note, because I should easily have Taunt, right? So they shouldn't actually defog with Corviknight. Yeah. I'm a Magic Room. <laughs> which just made me lose to this thing, which is pretty funny. And now I'm a Misty Explode. Depending on what they do here, uh, I get a Misty Explosion off on something like big. Yeah, because this is going to red card them. I won't. My item didn't work, so I didn't get to red card them out, which is very funny. And they don't get their leftovers as well, which is also super funny. So I'm not locked in with my Kartana. I'm clearly not locked in. I'm going to SD here. As they go Corviknight. I have two turns of Magic Room left. We're going to throw off uh, a Sacred Sword, which I'm hoping does a good chunk. Nice. And I can easily knock them out with the next one. And I don't think I'll be locked in after that either. So I want to see how this works. But I'm going to Sacred Sword again. I'm not sure how this works. I, I don't think I'm locked in. I won. Holy crap, I just won. <laughs> I did it on the high ladder! Yo! I did it! I did it! Oh my god, I did it! <laughs> Yo! Oh my god, I'm actually so hyped. Holy crap. Thank god. I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense why they would try and uh, not roost there. Because maybe they have... Oh my god, I did it! Yo! Successfully! I'm sorry, I'm in... I love playing Mons, and this is cool. Woo! Okay. The entire live, I'm going to lose every other game, and I don't care because the first game was awesome. Secondly, all right, one other thing I want to do, guys. If you didn't know, I do have merch available. Now, this is a remaster of my merch, uh, my original Drop Draco merch from six years ago, for those that may not have got it. It's uh, a remaster design, and uh, it's available till June. Tw um, Puka came up. She's like, yo, what's up? <laughs> we celebrating Puka tonight. I'll get you some honey. I know you love honey. But, uh, yeah, it's a remaster of my original Drop a Draco merch. Now, it's available till June 25th. The 10% off code with Summer 21 did end, but I went on honey this morning. Speaking of honey, and she keeps looking at me when I say that. And I, uh, I was able to find a code. I think code Lucky works. But if you guys have honey, the extension, feel free to use it as well. If you can get 10% off, you're not hurting me at all by saving money. I'm just telling you straight up. This is not like, it's not out of my pocket this time. This was Teespring's cold. So, yeah, if y'all want to pick it up, feel free to. You guys have been crazy with the support, man. We've sold 250 units so far. I have the premium one, which is higher quality, but unfortunately only goes up to 2x. 
whereas the classic one is uh, still good quality. Like it's the same as the, my original from back in the day, but it doesn't have uh, what's it called? It uh, it's just not as high quality as the other one, but it does go up to I think four X or five X, so it's a bigger size. But man, <laughs> that, <laughs> that's it. Okay, so this one is not going to go as easy because they have clef and all these resistances. But maybe Shadow Ball Gengar can do it. Potentially. Potentially. We'll see, though. I'm going to do something very similar. I'm going to go Mew. I like, uh, I like Spike from the get. As they go for Future Sight, that's fine. I'll stop back in front as they go Mew. Or as they go Buzzwool. Now I'm in a magic room here. In front of Buzzwool. As I get burnt by Skull, which is a little bit unfortunate. I'm a magic room in front of Buzzwool. And I think if I nasty plot up. This is a fairy move. This is gonna do a lot. <laughs> this is gonna do a lot. Maybe I can win here. Nice. So the play is to go out into Gengar and nasty plot. For sure. They could have Earthquake, but I think Nasty Plot is my play. Do they have Earthquake? They Ice Punch. I'm going to go for another uh, another Nasty Plot here. Pray I don't get Freezer Crit. And now we're going to Shadow Ball. I mean, <laughs> if this was a regular Gengar anyway, it was one, right? I got Hazards up, but... Is this unaware? This could be unaware. I think I still Shadow Ball. It is unaware. Which is a little bit unfortunate, man. Okay. Mm. I think Tapu Fini makes the most sense as well, because SD... Basically, I, I go for Taunt here. That way they can't heal as they go Tox Effects. That's completely fine. I Nature's Madness. Of course they have that one set. And then I Moonblast Spam. Why are they Poison Jab too? I should die here. So I'm going to let them knock me out there. Go Kartana and SD up. Sacred Sword. Because there's no items, so they can't have Rocky Helmet or Leftovers. And then try and Leaf Blade beat them, I think? Because I believe Toxapex should beat their own 1v1, right? Come on. Yeah, they body press, which is fair. I did so much damage. <laughs> I just did so much damage. Holy crap, man. Let's click Leaf Blade here. No reason not to, right? Yeah, I click Leaf Blade. Literally no reason not to. And they gave me Garchomp as well. So we get rid of Garchomp there, obviously. I think Smart Strike wins. They give me that, so I'm plus three attack. I think this kills every. Oh my god, we did it again! We did it again! <laughs> Yo! Yo! Oh my god, we did it again! Holy crap! Cartana broke it! <laughs> This is why I've always said I wanted Swords Dance Scarf Kartana. This is what I mean when I say this. This is what I mean. Guys, we got two battles. That means if I only play two other battles, I've won 50% of the battles with Magic Room. I can't believe we're doing it, bro. I can't believe we're doing it. I Oh my god. Holy crap. <laughs> Yo, that's so funny. Please don't play any of the same people again, otherwise I'll lose, because they will attack my Kartata. That's so great. I'm glad, I mean, I don't know why they, uh, 
they switched the guard on there. But I mean, it didn't matter at that point. I'm pretty sure. No, because they would have had rough skin and Rocky Helmet. They were trying to get that on me, but the Magic Room prevented it. So that's so funny, man. Yo, look at Cartana go. What a goat, man. What a goat. Woo. I mean, I'm, I'm not low on the ladder either, you know? I'm like, I'm, I'm like approaching like really high ladder as well. What am I like? Like number 70 in this? 76, yeah. So honestly... <laughs> I'm so hyped, man. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. To be honest, I don't even care. <laughs> I'm enjoying this as much as I am, so that's what matters, right? You gotta put out content that you enjoy. And that's what I do. Puka, I'm gonna put you down, okay? Because I know you tired. Yesterday, she played with her cousins. And she, uh, she, I mean, she played with her cousin a couple times. This also looks really similar. But they do have a Skarmory, so that's gonna be tougher for me to break. But once I break Skarmory, somehow, the same way I've been doing it a million times, I think I'll be able to do it with, uh... Gengar's good too. I just like Mew because I like I like getting up rocks first. Yeah, so I'm gonna get up rocks for Skarm unless they're heavy duty boots. Okay, we'll play the long game here. We'll go talk specs and, and knock off and haze and do all that crap. Taunt is whatever. Taunt litter doesn't matter. I'll just get rid of their item there. Icy win. I'm just move. What is this set? A taunt combine icy win. What am I fighting? <laughs> no water move on Caldeo, or are you water move? Whatever. Regardless, like Leaf Blade knocks him out anyway. What I want to happen is them to go Skarmory so I can break it. Well, I should also just go for the uh, the Nature's Madness because I'm doing more. I'll 2 KO them again. They're only plus one special attack because of the special attack drop from Broken Moonblast. What are you doing? I'm about to go Gengar. <laughs> yeah, I should have went Gengar, but they did no damage anyway, so all I did was knock out uh, a resist at the end of the day. So I'll take it. Tapu Fini comes out. They get a Black Sludge, which I'm okay with. And what I'll do is I'll go Feeny now. I don't think they trick back. I didn't think Garchomp would come out. I thought uh, maybe Mew, but same thing because of Misty Terrain. So we can click Moonblast here. Get a little bit of chip on that Mon as well. Wow. What is that damage? That's It's like a Salt Vest almost. It's like a Salt Vest Stealth Rock. You see 40%? Am I minus one? Okay, so we taunt them here. We taunt them here. I toxic them with Toxapex. Okay, I... I mean, I don't do it anymore, right? Uh, I'm trying to, like... I'm gonna make the, uh, the Hydreigon play just because it doesn't take any damage. But Dark Pulse won't KO them. So what I don't want to happen is them uh, beat me down with this, right? So I'm gonna actually I'm gonna Nature's Madness first, and then I'll taunt. I just I just need to make sure Skarmory's broken. I'm fairly confident I win the game already with Cartana, right? Just based on the way my opponent's playing, I'm fairly confident I win with Cartana. But it's gonna come down to Skarm. And I want to get up rocks as well. Okay. We're going to go Mew. We're going to get up rocks for Skarm, and then Spike, and then Misty Explode, and things like that too. I don't know what their Mew is going to do to me, but I'm going to get up Stealth Rock first. Why are you max speed? Why are you max speed taunt? It's fine. It's fine. They're going to think I'm going to taunt them. So I'm going to ignore this threat completely and hopefully they force themselves out. Yep. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, man. Get the magic room, damn it. 
We go Feeny here, that way we can taunt the uh, Snorlax. Oh, we Nature's Madness. Then I taunt. Mm. To be honest, man, Gengar wins too if I beat this mon, so I'm gonna Nature's Madness again. Or I'm gonna attempt to, rather. <laughs> Come on, man, let me beat this so I can get up a magic room. They're doing no damage with their mons, bro. Max Defense, I haven't used Max Defense Feeny since Urshifu was in this tier. Like, actually. Hmm. I want... I'm still gonna go Hydreigon here. They're easily max special defense. Like, for sure max special defense. And just go for Dark Pulse. So we get rid of Garchomp. Awesome. Obviously, this is good versus all their Pokemon. We're gonna U. We're gonna Taunt. I think I... I think I Magic Room here. I went to the wrong Pokemon. Damn it! I went to the wrong Pokemon. I went to the wrong Pokemon. I went. I meant to go Kartana. It's fine though. It's it's fine. It's not really fine. I meant to go Kartana. What do you think their last move is? So I have three turns of Magic Room left. I'm gonna go for uh, Sword. I'm gonna go for Sacred Sword, which should knock him out. I get a crit there. Not the best. I messed up, man. I guess I can crit them again, but... Damn, man, I messed up. I really misclicked. So I, I meant to go Kartana raw on that because I want to save my magic room so I could later sweep them with Gengar. But now it doesn't look like I can. I guess I could still Dark Pulse spam. Maybe I can sweep them with Gengar. Do you think they have rest? Well, I mean, they had rest on Garchomp, so they definitely have rest on, I guess, Snorlax, right? Even though they have terrain. Yeah. Uh, I don't have trick. Yeah, I messed up. So, a uh, good game to my opponent. Uh, what, what I had to... I did not... I meant to go Kartana raw, right? I meant to go Kartana and just click SD. Because if I SD'd and then SD'd again, if I SD'd then SD again, I can knock out Skarm at plus four, and they can, even if they are in defense, Sacred Sword goes through, and then I could have swept. But I misclicked, and <laughs> I hit damn Mew. I guess I could have hard switched the Gengar too and see what they had, but damn it, man. Oh my god, Volcarona and, and, and Halucha. Well, Unburdened doesn't activate in this, so that's going to be interesting. Let's see if we can get up... Uh, Let's uh, see if we can do some hazards here. I'm okay with that. This is usually trick defog. Toxpex is also really good too. Hmm. I'll knock. Just spinning Garchomp maybe. Alright, so we got rid of its life form, which is great. Dragon comes out. Scale Shot won't knock me out either. Scale Shot won't knock me out in Dark Pulse. Seems okay. Just for a little bit of chip. I don't think this Mon is going to be the one that wins. Uh, Draco does manage to knock me out. Hmm. Uh, Tornadus is going to be annoying. Nasty Plot Gengar looks good too. I just got to be careful. Like I'm trying to think. I beat Lucha with Feeny, right? So Feeny's obviously going to be... Like, what I'm going for, I think. I think Feeny for sure. I'm gonna Magic Room here. Then I think I spike into Explosion, because there's no- there's gonna be no boots. Which is fine. There being no boots means that that Mon can't come out on me. And I can go hard Kartana here. Or 
and click Smart Strike. I just click Toxic and Pray. Honestly, you ate that up. I'm proud of you. You hella ate that up. Yeah. Woo, let's go ahead and get rid of this Volcarona, baby. Don't get crit or spadev dropped. That would be pretty bad. So I click Scald here and they die. I'm not sure why they actually quivered in that phase, but that's awesome because they definitely die now. It's a giant threat. My Toxic Torn. Knock off their item too. They might as well go you, right? Smart Strike. This gives me a kill. That's a solid two a kill right there. There we go. I mean, Cartano wins anyway, so I'm okay. But and so does Scarf Gengar. Doesn't matter if they SD. They can't kill this plus Pex. Yeah, that's max physical defense, baby. That is max physical defense, baby. And that's a wrap. GG. <laughs> Let me magic room here and lose. I should win Gengar, but I mean, Cartana's been the one that's been killing it. Oh, they're going to red card me. <laughs> red card me into Gengar. Can you stop critting? <laughs> Oh man, Cartana under Magic Room has been really, really broken. It's been really, really broken under Magic Room, man. That's been kind of clean. Also, just Scarf Cart in general was good in that. I can't believe, like, I don't know, man. Like, I, I know, like, it wasn't that long ago that we had our Shifu, but the nostalgia of Max Defense Tapu Fini is really, really, really hitting me hard. It's really hitting me hard. It's a poker pace. Let me put this on my website. Or I'll pass it to Yank so you can put it on, her, on the website for me. Let me say this. OU by Ace Henry. Feet Cartada. Team for today, fam. Okay, Amoongus. So this looks like Nasty Blood Gengar. This definitely looks like Nasty Blood Gengar, which is pretty cool. Um. Yeah, MP Gengar looks great. I just gotta weaken the the this. But Cartana also looks good in the end game too. So uh, typically lead Mew, like I said. I mean, there's not really much to say here, right? I'm gonna lead Mew. I'm gonna try the thing again, and 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 again, until uh, until I hopefully win. If I plus four in front of that, I can also Smart Strike win. So. I like rocks for Corviknight chip. I don't know if this is Scarf, but I, I wouldn't give the way of the Scarf, I'll be honest, right now. What are we getting? We're getting Terrakion. I'm gonna Magic Room first. Pride Choice Ban, as they are adamant. I think I SD. I think either way I SD. I'm pretty sure they go Corviknight here. Ah, what if they're crazy? Let me be smart first. All right, now I'll SD. Now I'll SD. I'll SD now. Because I could Sacred Sword to a KO them. Mm-hmm. I just click it again and get a Beast Boost. So once Corviknight's gone, it makes life a lot easier, right? Because Corviknight just eats every hit. So I get plus three now. And now I'm Choice Scarf. You die. <laughs> Go ahead and give me that. I don't think Pert kills me, and Jirachi might not have Fire Punch, so. And we're no, we know they're Adam and Terrakion, which is very funny to me. Very, very funny, because you're slower than my Hydreigon, naturally. Gengar looks good too. <laughs> oh my god, the magic room just doesn't stop, man. Holy crap. 
Oh my god, and Cartana just stays critting everything too! That's a smart strike. That's, I'm sorry, I was like, trying to do the Professor Oak thing. <laughs> Yo, this is so funny. How is this so good? I'm actually just, the Magic Room is actually destroying, destroying High Ladder. Holy crap, man. I actually can't get enough of this. This is crazy. I wish I didn't misclick in that one game because we could have, uh, you know, been almost undefeated. Oh, Puka's good. She's chilling. Just checking on her. Man, that was so fun. <laughs> you really can use anything in Pokemon, man. I really feel that. Where's Cart Where's uh, Where's Kiram? So it's six owes me. Just kidding, man. I got. I got Cartana. <laughs> I got Cartana. <laughs> I got the demon. <laughs> I got the goat. All right. Um, this should be an L. Because of very many threats, but maybe Cart can still do it. So. I'm going to start with Mew again, but if they go Dragapult, I'll actually switch to Toxapex. Um, I like Spikes a little bit more than Stealth Rock for both Magneton and uh, Melmetal here. And obviously Tapafini is another mod we want to be able to weaken. But I have their sewer power on Melmetal as well. That's annoying. I kind of wish we had, I still wish we had Knock Off on Kartana, but all, all of the attacks have been great, right? Sacred Sword, Smart Strike, as well as um, Leaf Okay, I'll never get rid of Leaf Blade, and I'll never get rid of Sacred Sword either. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be really, really interesting. Okay, so they go Dragapult first. We're just going to go Pex. I think Shadow Ball is hella free. Blissey's like the only mod I'm really scared of, you know? But ideally, they go Magnezone after I kill it, and then I can reset the process. That's like, a, I'm thinking I take, I take a KO with Cartana, and then I try and take it. Because again, Blissey kind of just walls everything. <laughs> Say you turn there. Probably bring out zone. Which is probably specs. It could also be Banderous too, which is annoying. I don't know, I kinda would have Shadow Ball first. I think you get free chip on everything. If you have Shadow Ball, that is. I think you get free chip on everything. And then you just uh you go from there. So I'll go high Dragon mainly because I don't I can't stay in on this. Uh, they're body press zone. So that's good. That's good that I get a little bit of chip there too. So they're going to body press here. Yeah. All right. We'll bring out Mew, which should be maybe Blissey. I think Lanterous is also a play they can make, but they don't know enough about me. Yeah, they go Feeny, which is fine too. All right. So Spike up first. This could be also be Scarf, I suppose. Trick would be interesting. It, it kind of sucks getting a Scarf, but like I, I just Magic Room anyway, right? So we're okay. Mel Metal is another mod that can come out now. But I can't Magic Room in front of that because of the fact that I... Uh, Misty Explosion needs to be stronger as well. Just in general. Okay. I'm going to Stealth Rock because I'll eat this, and they're going to be forced out. Yep. Into Feeny. I'll miss the Explode now. That way we can go Cart, and we'll do this again in a bit, right? Like, I will do this again. <sighs> I should have just got a, a Magic Room. But I feel like they go Landers first, and I'm going to depend on uh, Tapu Fini's Magic Room. Also, they could go Melmetal first, too. But I need to weaken everything. I suppose Magnezone might come out. I don't know how well Magnezone takes this. Yeah, okay, so they go Landers first. Great. So this is also pretty decent for uh, for hopefully a Smart Strike win for later. Uh, don't go Fini on me. Don't go Fini. Melmetal. Go Melmetal, please. Good. Alright, so I'm gonna Nature's Madness on you, because I'm gonna try and Leaf Blade or Smart Strike sweep them. And if I want to do that, I gotta get some damage. So I know they're locked into Thunder Punch, because that did way too much damage. 
I'm gonna switch. Do I double to... No, I think I always go for Sacred Sword. Because I really feel like Scarf, Leaf Blake, and Sweep. I want to go Hydreigon because I want them to U-turn out. I just got to be very careful. Like, I have that hazard damage on Melmetal, so I can Leaf Blade sweep them. I can, I can. So I would rather them U-turn here. We go Gengar, just in case they go Feeny. Because in worst case, they U-turn. They don't Earthquake, obviously. Blissey is an option too. Alright, I'll sludge wave. They don't they don't know enough about this Pokemon. Okay, so again, I'm trying to go for that leaf play sweep in the end game, man. I'm trying. Toxabex eats for breakfast. Yes. You hella eat. I think what they do, I might just win naturally too, because like that leaf blade sweep is. Oh, this is scarf as well. Cause that did nothing. <laughs> is that scarf? I feel like that is scarf. I don't know. I really don't know. What I want to happen is. What I want to happen is I want to be able to bring out my uh, my my card after. I think I always go Gengar here, even if they double Thunder Wave. They have teleport. I'm gonna sub. I, I know why it's. I know sub sounds stupid. Actually, let me just Shadow Ball. Whatever. Shadow Ball literally hits everything else. And if they Thunder Wave me, they can't pass anything, so. Yeah, because they're they're on that timer. So I wanna I wanna be able to basically I wanna KO Landorus so that way they don't have a Rocky Helmet. So even if I don't get at the magic room, I can win. That's what I really want. Did I get the knockoff on uh I didn't get the knockoff on on Dragapult. I'm really trying to like play through hoops like of them not I'm trying not to let them defog. So best case here is if they go Feeny, right? They go Feeny and I break through twice. Because if I break through twice, I think I two it KO Feeny. I think I definitely two it KO Feeny. Yeah, it will be at 40 something percent. So I definitely two it KO with Shadow Ball, which means my hazards are here to stay. And I'm probably faster than the landers too. I'm most likely faster than the landers too. I definitely knock out Melmetal, and I definitely knock out Lando. Come on, but they should go Feeny now anyway, right? Okay, so Melmetal dies. Melmetal dies if I break through. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good, 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 good. Obviously, they can be, bring out Blissey and do the exact same thing all over again, but depending, depending, it depends right now. Awesome, they go Pult first, which is what I want. I want Pult to die. Come on, buddy. I want Paul to die here. I do. Come on. Ah, no. I will bring it back. I will bring it back. Because if I knock out Paul, I can win. And this can still beat that. If I knock out Paul, I can win. Got your Leaf Blade spam. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Dude! I lost! <laughs> I just lost! Okay. That helps. A lot. Because I can magic room now. As Pult struggles and dies. 
Well, I don't know if Magic Room still goes out, but I taunt. And then I Leaf Blade into Sacred Sword, right? How much HP am I at? <sighs> that sucks, man. Because I, I needed all this Pokemon, because I'm thinking that Magnezone gets a sub versus everything. But I could be wrong. But I definitely Magic Room, because at least that doesn't get let anything get leftovers. It doesn't let anything get items. Uh, Dragapult dies... Okay, good, good, good. I need a Dragapult to die. That's the important part. And Magic Room still goes up. Awesome, 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 awesome. So I... I think I win. I think I win with Cartana. I'm not sure. It depends what they do here. Uh, if they go zone, I don't know. I mean, after Spike and stuff, I think I KO zone with Sacred Sword. Even if it's max defense, because it doesn't get leftovers recovery due to magic room. I need them to go blissy here or something. And then just knock me out. They're going to waste a turn going for wish for sure. Lando knocking me out would also be good, obviously. Okay, so they go zone first. I taunt them first. I pray that this is enough. I don't think it does 69%. But maybe they go Landers. Maybe they'll switch to Landers. Yes! I followed up with a Leaf Blade because it knocks out Feeny. It knocks out this, and I still get my. I'm, I'm still at neutral. Yeah, buddy! Okay, okay. I think we win. I think we win. I think we definitely win. I don't think they have a play that wins in the game because of the uh, because of the hazards. At all, we did it. We definitely did it. Ah, magic room, magic room, baby. Anything can happen in the magic room. Hmm. Let's leave play here. Anything can happen in the magic room. I wish I had knockoff, man. No, they went zone first. So I win. <laughs> Did I just switch? I literally switch, I click knockoff, and I win. They can't combine beat me 1v1. Leaf play will always kill them. Let's knock them off. That way they don't get no leftovers recovery. Or any of that garbage. So I lose the game to Scald. Nice. I just spam scald here. Spam scald forever. Spam scald forever. Try and toxic. They might have taunt, but they didn't click it. So. Ah, oh, nice, nice. They finally got it off on me. I still think I kill, but it's going to be annoying because I. <laughs> I like how they didn't click it, by the way, in the turn they, they did. Like, I won if I got the Toxic off. Just get a burn so they don't get any recovery. Thank you. Pretty sure they don't have enough Draining Kisses to win. I don't think they have enough Draining Kisses to win. I'm never, and I'm never going Cartana there. Yo, Magic Room is fire. Come on, man. Hurry up. I need to do a million percent to you already. This is this guy got everything this game, man. To be honest, I was also pretty blessed. I think Tama uh Kama Infinity is so bad right now, I'm gonna be honest. Because you can't use it the way you're supposed to use Feeny. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't do, uh, it doesn't end up doing enough. Hurry up and beat me. <laughs> it doesn't end up doing enough. What they should have been doing was calm mining up, but there's no way they live at 54. A Cartana? In this climate? 
Good game. We did it. Woo! Cart win like, <laughs> cart won like every game, man. What a demon. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Of course, if you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. I think they had to double with Magnezone. But I feel like if I click Sacred Sword into Feeny at that range, I might have two of KO'd them. Yeah, because it would have been a 44. I probably killed them anyway, but <laughs> I didn't run want to run the calc. But anyway. I hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, we lost one game, and I think it's because I misclicked, too. Because I think if I click, I click Cartana there, I knock out Snorlax or force them in the Skarmory, I SD twice. Well, I SD, and then I hit them and then, as they are in defense, and then I hit them again. Or I can SD twice, depending. And then I would still have Gengar and everything as well. But I hope you guys all enjoyed. Team is down below. Like I said, drop a Draco merch. Available. Available. Until the 25th. Use Honey if you want to get a 10% off code. Otherwise, I'm going to reach out to Teespring. I'm going to definitely reach out to Teespring and see what I can do. But I will see you guys next time. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed it. Later, guys.